Can AI make you a better badminton player? Well, let's find out. This is one of our subscribers, Dan. And in this game, him and his partner lost 21-16. So what went wrong? Well, a huge 67% of the points they lost were within the first five shots of the rally. We were able to find out that information in no time at all. And we'll tell you how AI magically got us these stats in just a minute. But first, let's show you how Dan can go from losing the majority of his points in the first five shots to winning them. And what he's doing wrong is a common mistake we see. So listen closely. Okay, let's watch these clips quickly. As you can see, Dan received nine low serves in this game and he lifted all nine of them, putting him and his partner in a defensive situation straight away. There are four things Dan can fix to help him play better return of serves. Three are technical and one is tactical. Yeah, and first is his setup. Dan is quick around the court, so he could be stood much closer to the service line, especially as his opponents only flicked one out of 10 times in this game, and he didn't even have to move back to get it. Secondly, as you can see here, his body weight is leaning backwards as he's waiting to receive the serve, but he'd be a lot more explosive if he was leaning forwards. Think of it like a runner pushing out of the starting box. They lean forwards so their center of gravity is in front of their feet, which means they can get maximum acceleration and momentum when the starting gun goes off. Okay, our third tip is what his racket does. And this is probably the most common mistake we see intermediate players doing on the return of serve. The first thing that Dan does with his racket is move it backwards and down, the wrong direction. If we compare this to the pros, they're almost throwing their racket arm forwards and upwards to help them take the shuttle as early as possible. So if you find yourself lifting too much on the return of serve, this is often the reason why, and you probably don't even realize you're doing it. So really try and meet the shuttle as early as possible, and then use a short swing to create the power and control. Now, before we tell you the tactical tip for Dan, we wanted to share how we were able to easily get these stats, like 67% of the points they lost were within the first five shots, and also find every clip straight away. Well, we used a new AI app called Clutch, and we're delighted to say they're sponsoring this video. Clutch is honestly a game-changing app, as it enabled us to quickly see where Dan and his partner were losing most of their points. And then we could watch these to see what they were doing wrong without looking through the rest of the game. And thanks to Clutch, we were quickly able to spot Dan's return of serves as an area of improvement. So now we've covered how Dan can reach the return of serve earlier, what shots should he play in these situations? Well, as you can see, there are big gaps down these sides here. So we'd recommend Dan trying straight net shots, which are not only simple, but also means that he can get on the attack straight away. In all honesty, Dan doesn't even need to reach the shot earlier to try these. His opponents weren't covering the net at all. But obviously, if he was earlier, they would be much more effective and maybe even outright winners. The second option we'd recommend is a soft push in between his opponents, as this often creates confusion as to whose shot it is. And the third option is something that Dan tried a couple of times in this game, but it wasn't very effective, and that is a deceptive return. The reason it wasn't effective is something we've actually covered on a previous video. Third, you can't turn your body and drop your shoulder too early, as this will show your opponents that you're going to play at cross court. Again, to do this shot well, you need to be able to create power with a short swing. Dan and his opponents won an equal amount of rallies when it went over five shots. So if Dan could improve this area, especially his return of serves, they could go from losing 21-16 to winning 21-16. Okay, let's move on to our next subscriber, Sashwat, who's a very good men's singles player. This was actually in the first round of an international tournament in Uganda, and he won the match. But we noticed two things he could improve on to take his game to the next level. Again, we're going to analyze Sashwatch's match with the help of Clutch. But before we show you the amazing findings it has given us, we're going to spend 15 seconds showing you the simple process to get to this point. All you need to do is download the app, sign up, select upload a match following the video requirements, and then wait for AI to do its thing. You then go into the match, tag you and your opponent so the AI knows who is who, and bam, you can now see all of these statistics. 
And stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll give you an exclusive code to sign up with to be in with a chance of winning a video call with us to analyze your game. So for Sashrat, we wanted to identify which areas of the court were his strengths and weaknesses. To do this, we went onto clutch and selected a zone of the court, chose to see the two shots previous to this, and this then creates a highlight reel of all of the shots that Sashrat hit from this area of the court. As we said earlier, this is literally game changing. Because as we were doing this, we noticed when Sashrat was under pressure in his forehand rear court corner, his shots weren't as good quality compared to the rest of his game. And shots like this would definitely be punished at the next level up. So if you, like Sashrat, think you could improve the quality of your shots when you're under pressure in the rear court, then our first tip is to try and alter the angle of your racket downwards a little bit. As you can see, Sashrat's racket is facing up too much. So by experimenting with the angle, he'll be able to play shots that go much tighter to the net. Tip two is to have a more relaxed grip, which is definitely hard when you're under pressure, but this will help to improve the control and quality of your shot. Being relaxed means he could squeeze his grip to add more power into the shot, which is something we definitely recommend doing, and there's a big reason for this. Yeah, if Sashrat plays a soft shot when he's under pressure, then it's really easy for his opponent to move their position closer to the net and play a tight net shot, which will put Sashrat under even more pressure. But if he plays it deeper into court like this, then it's instantly much harder for his opponent to play a tight net shot. This is great for Sashrat because he wants to be the one getting to the net early to play net shots, as this is one of his strengths. Yeah, his net shots help him set up his biggest strength, which is his overhead attack. Similar to before, we created a highlight reel of Sashrat's shots, but this time we selected all of his smashes, and from this we noticed that almost all of his smash winners were set up by him playing a good net shot first. So we know his overhead attack is very good when he's on balance and has time to get behind the shuttle. But how can Sashrat practice improving his quality for the late rear court shots? Well, we'd recommend an exercise where the feeder stands around the service line and moves him to all four corners. But the feeder should only play shots just past the service line and then flat lifts to the two rear court corners. This is a great exercise for singles players to practice being under the same pressure you'd experience in a match. As well as using clutch to help us analyze your games, we've already been using it to analyze our own game as well as our opponents. And if you want to get it for yourself, we'll include a link in the description below where you can download it from the App Store. And if you enter the code Badminton Insight when signing up, you'll get an exclusive discount. And if that exclusive discount isn't enough, if you sign up to Clutch with our code, then you'll get entered into a prize draw where Clutch will choose one winner for us to analyze your match on a video call with you. There's also an option to join their Clutch Discord server, where you can communicate directly with the Clutch team for feedback, suggestions, or feature requests. And you can also get feedback on your highlight videos from their team of pro players. And if you want to watch our other two subscriber analysis videos, they'll be linked here for you. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hopefully see you on another video very soon. Bye. Bye.